Okay, Chris, looking at Nebraska, we're going to do their season grade right now. I'll start us off here. Now, again, this is not an off-season grade, right? This is just a strictly, you know, in-season grade, how Matt Rule's first season, uh, you know, coaching the Scurs went. And I'll go ahead and start us off here with the offense. Look, Nebraska's offense was one of the worst in, in all of college football this year. And, and I mean... You know, there's a ton of things that factored into that, right? Firstly, turnovers. Every game, it seemed like they turned the ball over at least three times. And each game, they figured out new ways to turn it over. I mean, it was just mind-boggling how they decided to do that. Secondly, the passing game as a whole was atrocious, right? They struggled at pass protecting. The receivers couldn't create separation. And then the quarterbacks, you know, when all of that did go right for them, they almost struggled to make the correct reads, throwing interceptions, uh, missing guys wide open, et cetera, right? You know, here's the thing, Chris, no quarterback finished with more than a thousand yards passing or more than seven passing touchdowns. That's pretty rough. Another thing, too, was no quarterback had a positive turnover margin, even just from the passing side of it, with interceptions tacked into there, not accounting for fumbles. You know, here's the thing, too, Chris. The leading rusher on the offense was Heinrich Harburg with a whopping 477 yards. Uh, you know, that's got to change, you know, going into next year, and I'm sure it will. But uh, why don't you talk to me a little bit about the defense this year, Chris? Hey, you know what? It, as bad as the offense was, the defense was the bright spot this year. Um, anybody that watched the Huskers this year knew that. Um, Christian, he only gave up 18 points per game. That's pretty good in today's college football. That finished 16th in the country. Um, huge improvement under Tony White this year. Um, you know, last year, the Huskers gave up almost 28 per game. So 10 points per game difference there defensively. That's huge. Now I know we, we could talk about uh, the lackluster offenses in the Big Ten West, especially this year, probably contributed to that a little bit. But let's be honest, anybody watch Husker football this year knows that Huskers defense was 100 times better than it was uh, in years prior. You know, uh, the other thing, too, Christian, that that was very impressive this year, Nebraska finished sixth in the country against the run. Uh, the Big Ten schools all like to run the ball. Nebraska was really good up front, especially that front seven, uh, stopping the run this season. They were 41 against the pass. That's not too terribly bad. Um, I know the Big Ten doesn't like to light it up through the air necessarily, but again, like I said, Huskers, major improvement. So, you know, this year um, defensively, they had 32 sacks. I think that was huge. Hutchmacher, um, uh, what's the other big guy? Robinson up front. They're both coming back, by the way. Um, 32 sacks this year versus only 20 the year before. So getting pressure on the quarterback was huge. That contributed to why the defense probably was as good as it was this year. So, yeah, I, you know, and another thing uh, people forget, man, Huskers defense was out on the field a ton this year, just like years prior. Offense was pretty anemic. You just mentioned how bad they were offensively this season. Defense was out there, kept us in a lot of games, a lot of close games that we probably should have won, but uh, ultimately we didn't. So, Christian, I'm going to give you my, my grade this year on Matt Rule, Tony White as a whole, Nebraska. Like I said, this isn't the recruiting grade, this is just the season grade. Um, I give them. A D plus. And I'm going to add to this D plus. I know some people are going to say, wow, that was way too harsh, Chris. Chris, it was the fact that we didn't win a single game um, the last four weeks of the season. The schedule was pretty easy for Nebraska this year. I had them pegged at six or seven wins. I thought they should have gotten there. Some of that was coaching. Some of that was uh, offensive play calling. I think you would agree with Satterfield this year. So my overall grade was a D plus, Christian. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Yeah, Chris, I, I think here's the thing, and I agree exactly with you. I just have him as a D, right? I mean, Rule's first year in Lincoln, I mean, it was filled with a ton of ups and downs. Uh, this isn't this isn't about, you know, the offseason. A lot of people, by the time we put this out, they're going to be so hyper-fixated on the Rayola side, and they're going to be hyper-fixated on the recruiting class. That's not what this is about, okay? This is, this is strictly about what we watched last year with what they had. And here's the thing. You said it best, Chris, with a month – to go in the season and one of the worst divisions in all of the power five and maybe I'll just let's just say in all of college football yeah. right a 75 million dollar coach couldn't get one win to go to a bowl game right I, I mean it's not like we were trying to march through the 85 bears there if you're a nebraska fan so uh and and a lot of it came down to uh, game management decisions you know things that uh, I think if they could have had back, you know, it, it didn't really have anything to do with the players, the play calling. It just had to do with Matt Rule's decision making in that, you know, in those moments. So, yeah.